He's German. He came in here with a very strict set of rules and regulations in that moment. That's what Romania needed, a good manager to develop the country. The fact that he was invited in here to become like the king, for him this was an amazing honor. Because in Germany he would have never got a chance to become like the king. He was just a very rich aristocratic person, but no royal blood in his veins. So the fact that he was brought to Romania to become like a king, for him this was an amazing honor. And using his money and his personal connections, he definitely managed to develop the country. He developed the country massively. Just for it to understand, this building it has electricity from the very beginning. Providing like the, uh, promoting like the first electrified palace of Europe. Electricity provided by its own electric power plant built on the valley of Peles River. Uh, this is where it comes, the name of the castle. Uh, another impressive device that is building, it has it from the very beginning, inside. Enjoy your money about silently, please. Thank you. Uh, inside, you'll see there is a big amount of woodwork. Carol, he was afraid that open fire might damage the woodwork. So because of this, he requested for the building to be endowed with central heating system. All the fireplaces that you can see all around us, they are not real fireplaces, they are fake ones. All of them, they have radiators on the back, powered with hot steam from the very beginning. They actually managed to change the course of the river, forcing the water to go into the basement where they were making some huge fires. In the moment that the cold water was touching the fires, they were creating hot steam that they were pushing inside of the building using the radiators they are on the back of the fireplaces. On your back, that used to be like the entrance, the official entrance leading inside of this building. Above the entrance door, you can see symbols representing areas of Romania of those times. Why do I say of those times? Because as I'm sure that all of you know, Romania is the result of the unification of three initial smaller countries, Moldova, Valachia, and Transylvania. But Transylvania joined Romania in 1918, after the end of the First World War, because night, before of the 1918, before of the First World War, for centuries Transylvania used to be part of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. This building was built in between 1875 and 1914, which means that in the moment this building was finished, Transylvania was not yet part of Romania. So because of this in there, above the door, you can see symbols representing Moldova and Valachia. That buffalo headed represents Moldova, and three other symbols, they represent Valachia. Transylvania is missing from there. And the four towers on the top, they represent areas from Germany, where this royal family they came from. I said slowly, slowly, the area ahead of us is getting cleared, so I'm inviting you to feel just like royalties, to follow me on the red carpet inside of the main, uh, or to the main welcoming hall of Pelescast.